In certain wealthy tech circles, it's apparently called the lifestyle. It's an underground party scene with recreational drug use, casual sex. A successful tech executive named Bob Lee liked to hang out with that crowd, according to the people who also participated. Lee was found stabbed to death early last month. Which leads us to even more questions. Uh, joining us on the Coco News Live line, licensed professional counselor, founder of the Brain Performance Center, Lee Richardson. Good to have you back, Lee. Thanks for having me. So, you know, I mean, it, it almost sounds like something about the, the 70s with key parties and things like that and quaaludes. But, you know, in, in, in this era now, Mr. Lee's autopsy report revealed th that he had um, ketamine in his system, cocaine. So what do you think is driving young, very talented, wealthy people to pursue this kind of lifestyle away from work? Well, you know, I think we all, basically, we all want to fit in. And when you're, you remember in the 80s, the TV show, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous? Oh, yes, with Robin all, Leach. Yeah, we all want to, we all want to tap into that population. We all want to know about them. So uh, they may strive for some just exclusion from the general and more inclusion with a population that they feel that they fit in with. Because we're, we all want to fit in. And when you're in that certain circle and it's acceptable to do cocaine and to do the other things, casual sex, then maybe you do that as part of the way that you do fit in. I know he had ketamine in his system and ketamine is used to treat depression. So is there's some stress creates a dysregulated brain. A dysregulated brain can result in anxiety, depression, different things. And, and certainly when you're one of the rich and the famous, you do have more stress. You can't go down to the Starbucks and buy coffee without somebody pointing you out or trying to take, get a picture or asking you for a, hey, look, can you do a selfie with me? So I do think that all of that, there's good and there's bad. Associated but with having a lot of money. Do you also think that you are untouchable, that you are Icarus, and you are going to fly close to the sun? Mm, that's a very good point. That That is a good point. I think that we get caught up, well, we all do. We all get caught up in our own minutiae. And then we just, we we lose, we disconnect. And when you're in that disconnected state, you're looking for something. Where do I feel safe? Where do I feel like I fit in? Where do I feel like I belong? So, and the question is, where do you go? Well, I mean, it's it seems like there was, uh, you know, this party atmosphere that he was a part of that, you know, maybe it was part stress relief, maybe it was part dealing with depression, but also a certain amount of hedonism that some people just think, you know, I can do pretty much anything I want and I can get away with it. And we've seen that happen. I mean, Jeffrey Epstein. Hello. Hello. You hit that nail on the head. And, and I, you're right. I think that we, you know, why I've, I've asked clients, well, why'd you do that? Because it can, you know? And it's certainly nothing as extravagant as what we're talking about, but just that, well, because I can, that's a feeling of power. Right. And I, and I think we're like, we, everyone likes power. Everyone likes power. And you hit the nail on the head when you said, because I can. And when you, and, and also when you're hanging out, I think with that type of group of people who are maybe, um, you know, are very successful, maybe well known. They're also going to be able to keep your secrets. And that's also probably why they were involved in this. So, Lee Richardson, uh, thank you for your, uh, for your time this morning.